Okay. I'm on my way to the Benville Library to go drop off that DVD and maybe and get my book and maybe some videos. Okay. That's my goal right now. And, um, shit. James got hired from Whataburger and he is going to be working 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. That's basically my schedule and, um, nine hours. And, um, shit, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> four days a week, just like me. He's got my fucking schedule four days a week. That's insane, you know? He's going to work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. That's it. Thursday to Sunday. See, so <laughs> four days. But I'm like, oh, my God, getting up at three in the morning to take his ass to pick him up for like a month because he, as soon as he tags his vehicle and gets insurance then he can drive his own vehicle to work and I don't have to drive him and take him home to awesome because oh my god that's going to be insane you know so we'll see how that goes but then I posted it on Facebook and across the stage like everybody will do it on Facebook well Tommy got two jobs there you go two fucking jobs full time because Oh my god, it's gonna be crazy. And um, but yeah, I'm glad he's got three days off and 32 hours. It doesn't you know that's a lot, but oh my god, especially since he still has to do his car a lot job too. So I'm like because my husband depends on that kid more than anything to do all this shit. So it's not like he can just drop his dad, you know? <laughs> god. He just might have to do, do part-time, you know, sleep more or something. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. You know, he may need to depend on that guy, John, a little more, you know, at the car lot than his own kid. <laughs> but his kid needs a real job. His kid needs a job that actually pays so he can actually get a future, <laughs> you know. So, I mean, he needs a real job, not just to help his dad out, <laughs> you know. Uh, he couldn't keep doing that forever. But, yeah, it's going to be quite an interesting interesting thing and I believe he starts Thursday which would be December 28th of 2023 um boy I'm excited about it and nervous at the same time I'm really hoping he likes it because I mean I'm scared that he's gonna hate it and then he's gonna be mean to people and he's gonna fall asleep because he's gonna be so exhausted because it's gonna be boring too you gotta figure that shift has got to be boring as hell I mean how many people are gonna be getting grub for Whataburger that late at night it's probably gonna be he might even see me sometimes grubbing and picking up orders since that's that's what I do pick up at sometimes for my, you know, Grubhub, Uber. At least he'll know which one is it because he knows I do more than one app. And yesterday, we actually made $89 yesterday. So, yay, finally a comeback from all those crappy days, you know, where we only making like, you know. It was awesome to get order after order in some of them. I mean, they weren't all good because, um... A lot of them were six, seven dollar orders, you know, but to get 89 was good. It at least helped a lot. And I got to remember how many we did, but I want to say we must have taken at least 10 orders. I, I was thinking nine, but I think it's 10 because $90 would have been nine. And there's no way we were, uh, we were short $11. So that's why I'm thinking it must have been, we had 10 or 11 orders total last night. And it might have just been 10. I have to do the count on that. So here we are getting back in the hang of things. And I don't, I'm, I'm assuming James has church today, but I don't know. If he doesn't have church, maybe we can work tonight. Oh, and this is the bad news. I am going to be late with the Discover. Like right now, with my Uber money, and I went ahead and did the Grubhub money too for like 40 bucks because I, tomorrow, my husband's car insurance, life insurance comes out and and a firm for 90 bucks comes out. Those two things are coming out for sure. And that's all I can afford. I will barely have enough for gas or anything with those two things coming out. And um, so that's what I'm saying. That $200 for Discover is not getting paid. It's going to be late. And I'm thinking I'm not gonna be able to pay it till probably Monday or Tuesday of next week. So that really sucks. So there goes my interest rate on my freaking Discover card. I'm so pissed about it. I'm not even happy because what can I do though? I don't have the money. And I, and I don't think I'm gonna let that, that, I'm not gonna do what I did the other cards and just let them go to hell and then just try to make a plan with them to pay it off. I'm gonna actually just pay the fucker late, pay, get, get my interest to go up again, unfortunately, and pay the consequences for me being a fuck up, okay? That's all there is to it. I have no choice. I'm gonna take the hit. And um, anyway, 
anyway, so there you go. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, you know, buddy, you could get ahead of me and, like, go a little faster. You should sped around me like a jackass. Now you're going to slow down? Whatever. You know? You know, I'm like, you don't like being behind me? Fine, but what's up with that? Anyway. I don't know. It's whatever it is, you know? It is what it is. And it is so cold. I am not lying. I am freezing my ass off. The house is really cold, too. It's going to be really bad for the next freaking week plus. I mean, let's face it. We're in winter. I cannot expect it to be warm. It's going to fucking suck. Being in my car is heaven. <laughs> this is like the only place it gets warm enough is in my freaking car. I'm like, oh my god, my poor child. Because Raymond is the one who stay home all the time, 24-7 right now, okay? He's the one that's not leaving the house. I feel terrible. And he, he doesn't wear a shirt. He just does not fucking wear a shirt. So, you know, he's not wearing socks. He's wearing sweats, but big deal. I don't know. I feel sorry for him. It's going to be rough, really rough on him, too. I'm like, God dang. But running the, those little heaters, it's just, it's not helping. It's just not helping. It's not keeping the house warm enough. And I don't understand the difference because those heaters, I remember, they could heat a whole damn room before. And, I mean, because we've always used them in other houses. And, uh, mind you, the last house we were in was really tiny. So, okay, there's that. But the house before then had huge ass rooms. They were huge and it kept the whole place cool warm. I remember that was the first time I ever used a space heater and it was just perfectly great. It was perfect. This house must have a lot of leaks or some shit because I just like, why? What is going on here that this, these heaters cannot keep anything warm and I'm freaking my ass off. No, it's not necessarily true because at nighttime, Sometimes I won't even run the heaters in our bedroom and, and I'm warm when I wake up, so, you know? Oh my God. But I'm using four layers of blanket right now, okay? Four layers of blankets. <laughs> all right? Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But, um, Jesus, you know? And I remember one night last year, I was wearing a, my, my um, boggin hat. I think I'm going to go back to wearing the boggin hat at night. I would just said, wear a hat to bed, but you know what? Fuck it. If it works, it keeps my fucking head warm, I'm doing it. Um, whatever the hell it takes. We're, 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 we're old school in it, people. <laughs> we are old school in it. Ugh. Anyway, but life's been good. It has been good. Every year is like, this kind of shit, but it's also great. And it does feel good to make it. You know what I mean? When you're doing it yourself and you, you feel like you're, we're making it. We're plugging along. There's something really... It's, it just feels good. I don't know how to explain it. Those little achievements for the suffering that you suffer and, and you suffer through it and you make it, it feels good. You know, and it's always temporary. Like most of the shit that I'm complaining about, maybe it's not as bad as it could be. It could be worse. It could be a hell of a lot worse. So, you know, I'm mean, like, I don't know. This may seem like bad to me right now, but you know, that's, then I forget about it. That's what I'm saying. That's what's so funny. You forget how hot it was or how cold it was or little shit that you had to suffer through you just it's just just a moment in your life it's a small moment that goes away you know i don't know <laughs> anyway so there you go i'm fucked on the discover card i don't know what's gonna happen next week but i get money next week so bills will be paid next week and i i'm not worried about the bills next week because i think we'll be f cool it's just getting to next week that kind of sucks as you've seen the last two weeks have been hell on the finances hell i'm making it but and i do still have the hundred million i am not spending it. like i said that money is put away i'm not going to spend it i'm not touching any of aiden's money in the savings i'm not going to do that from now on like i said i gotta start giving him more money so he i can start paying his butt back so because i owe him a lot of freaking money and then so i've got to get my shit together 2024 is it we're going to make it we're going to start getting our crap together Things are going to go a lot smoother. I, I really feel really positive about 2024. I don't know why. You know, but everything feels good. You know, I, even my relationship still with my kids feel good. And I'm like, I'm hoping to keep that up, you know? Because, like I said, it just, everything just feels smooth right now. And I'm like, please let it stay that way. Because 
you know, you know how hard it is. My kid, my oldest, he's going to be trying to move away someday soon. My middle child will be too. And I want to really keep up with our, 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 our relationship so we, you know, we stay strong even if they're far away. You know, no matter how far they go, I want to be close. <laughs> so, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I'm a nervous wreck about it. <laughs> That's moms for you. Guess we we'll worry about it. You see now? Our kids are everything. I said I spent all my years, which I did say that to, to Dylan because he said, you know, I guess his brother's wife was a stay-at-home mom too, but, you know, and I mean, I never cheated, but like I said, my kids were my focus. My life was my husband, my family, my kids. It was just easy peasy, you know, that's just what it was at the time, you know? And I didn't, I mean, if you look at my history, which I, did, I don't think, because I didn't think about it, you know, I did screw up with my daughter, you know, I did mess that relationship up, I did lose her, and, um, you know, I, I can't take that shit back, but I don't think about it that much, because it's too hard to think about that stuff, and when I do think about it, yeah, there, there's me being a bad parent, I fucked up, you know, I don't know what the hell that I did because I I don't know I I think four years you know moving to Arkansas was good and bad good because then I was starting to get on my own but bad because I made some really crappy ass decisions in those first year basically it was the one one year that I fucked up so bad first year here I made a lot of damn mistakes, and they were pretty big ass mistakes. But, like I said, you can't get them back. You know, that's so why I, mean, I try not to dwell on it. Because what can you do? You can't dwell on it. And that's why I think I did such a harder job with the three kids. I, like I said, when I had James, I cherished every single freaking moment because I knew what it was like not to have those other moments. You know, because of my daughter. And um, I cherished every single moment. And I, you know, I said I. We did a lot of things differently with those three kids based off of what I learned from my mistakes that year in Arkansas, first year. <laughs> you know, I did. I freaking learned a hell of a lot. And I wasn't going to make any mistakes again and I was never going to do that shit again. And I don't know. So we did it, you know. And, um, yeah, family was our focus. But life, you know, you just can't, you can't undo what you did, some things are undoable, mm. but lucky for me, she, she's on my Facebook page, and we do talk, and I haven't even talked to her in a while, which is terrible, I need to, because like I said, she doesn't really respond to me unless I respond to her, you know, like, I have to write her first, and then she'll write back. So this is probably not good, but I just, sometimes I just can't, you know, I get busy and I get distracted and, and I know I do it on purpose with everything. It's just like, it's just like with friends and stuff, just like with Tiffany, I'm like, ah, I got to worry about other stuff. I don't even want to really think about this other stuff that I'm letting go, you know, Ugh. Like I said, I'm lucky she's even, she talks to me. I'm lucky she wants to be on my page. I'm lucky she found me and she wanted to find me, you know? I really didn't think she did want to, you know? I remember thinking, God, I screwed up so bad. <laughs> mm. So I'm lucky. But I just gotta do a better job of actually communicating and following through and stuff. Making up for whatever the hell happened back then. Hmm. Anyway, this is a little depressing talk, so I'm gonna just quit talking there now. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm done. I'm done making the video because I'm just like, oh my god, that's a little too depressing. <laughs> and yeah, I'll probably post it because I don't even care at this point in life, you know? Ugh.